Hey, hey, in this video, we have some snow to talk about. I'll break down my snowfall forecast for the upper Midwest and northern plains. That same system could bring a little bit of severe weather to parts of the deep south. I'll show you the timeline. And then for our friends in the Caribbean, it has been cold. We'll talk about a big warming trend coming to the islands in a few minutes. I'm meteorologist Jonathan Kegis. If you're new here, we talk and track all things weather. I would love to know what the weather is doing where you are watching from. Please post that in the comments below. Don't forget to include your location. Going to start with the timing of the snowfall. If you're looking for the timeline for the severe weather threat or the Caribbean update, I have those chapters listed in the description. You can click on those time codes in the description, and that'll take you right to where you want to go. In terms of the snowfall timeline, look at this. This is now 8 o'clock mountain time. We have some heavy snow firing up in places like Denver, Colorado, Colorado Springs, sneaking into western Kansas, southern Nebraska, especially the Panhandle. Again, that is 8 o'clock mountain time, but watch what happens overnight. We're going to stop this now at about 4 o'clock in the morning eastern, so that's going to be 3 o'clock central, 2 o'clock mountain time. Look at the heavy snow from about Hastings, Nebraska, still in the corner of Colorado, expanding to Casper, Wyoming, Cheyenne, Wyoming as well, getting in on that heavy snow. Further in the morning, this system really starts to expand as it gets stronger. So here we go at 7 o'clock Mountain Time. Look at all of the snow coming down from Denver to Goodland to Hastings, North Platte, Valentine. We are really getting in on that heavy snow. Some very, very heavy rain on the warmer side of this system. It's going to be a cold rain through Wichita, Topeka, into Kansas. And then note where we have the changeover. Again, this is going to be 7 o'clock in the morning mountain, 8 o'clock in the morning central time. And you see the pink there representing where we could have a little stripe of freezing rain and sleep. All right, taking this out a little bit further now into the early afternoon. Look at the changeover happening. Places like Des Moines. This is going to be at 4 o'clock mountain time. We still have that light to moderate snow coming down in Nebraska very heavy stuff as of 5 o'clock in the evening central time. Mason City, Iowa, Fort Dodge, Des Moines. We are right on the line of that very heavy snow. Look at the heavy rain, though. The darker reds indicating even some thunderstorms through Peoria into St. Louis. Getting up into parts of extreme southeast Iowa as well. Again, that is 5 o'clock in the evening on Wednesday central time. Look at the snow expand now. We have some of the colder air really starting to rush in. That keeps it as snow in Sioux Falls. That changes us over to complete snow now in places like Madison, Wisconsin, La Crosse, Rochester, Minnesota, Fort Dodge, Waterloo. We are snowing heavily at this time, and that will continue for us all the way into early Thursday morning. This is going to be 6 a.m. now central time. Some light to moderate snow to the Twin Cities, some heavier snow still back towards central Wisconsin. If you are enjoying this video, if you're finding this content helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help us out a lot. So how much snow are we talking? I think we're going to get a good amount here, especially into northeast Colorado and into Nebraska. Bullseye with this storm just to the east of Denver from North Platte through Kearney, Norfolk, just to the west of Fort Dodge. And then right on through, smack dab the heart of Nebraska. That purple color there represents where I think 8 to 16 inches of snow is going to fall. A little bit less than that in that pink color. That is 5 to 9. That is going to include us in Cheyenne, Wyoming, Alliance, Nebraska. We are going to get in on that snow. If you've never been to Alliance, great spot. Carhenge, highly recommend it. Great spot there in the panhandle of Nebraska. That 5 to 9 inch mark here is going to be for us into Fort Dodge as well, Albert Lee, Minnesota, into Austin, Minnesota, Rochester. We are going to get in that 5 to 9 inch range. That stripe of pink then extends right through the heart of Wisconsin into Toma, into Wausau, and then again down just to the south of Fort Dodge, Iowa. The blue, a step down. So this is where I'm expecting 3 to 6 inches of snow. That's going to be places like Casper into Valentine, Nebraska, Sioux Falls. This is an interesting spot here. We showed you the European yesterday, and if you like to follow these models, I thought that it was a little too far north, 
Well, this morning run again came further south, more in line with the European ensembles. So we were correct on that. Now forecasting three to six inches of snow officially for Sioux Falls, South Dakota. If we do get a jog about 25 miles north, we could get a little bit more than that. So pay attention for that. Into the Twin Cities, I have you guys at about three to six inches of snow as well, extending into northern Wisconsin. Colorado Springs, have you guys in three to six inches. Goodland, Kansas at about three to six as well. That extends into Des Moines, Iowa, and then right on through Cedar Rapids. In the white, a little bit lower, one to three inches of snow. St. Cloud, Minnesota. Again, we are just going to be too far north this time around. Same for us in Duluth. We are going to see one to three inches of snow. I think Pierre, South Dakota, we're just going to get in on that coating to an inch, that gray color there. Rapid City, same for us. Gillette, Wyoming, I think we're just going to sneak in to the one to three inch zone. Yo, we need a break in the deep south in terms of the severe weather threat. And unfortunately, we're back under the gun again. I will say the threat is not as high as where it's been really over the past couple of months when we've been under the gun. Still, though, something to pay very close attention to Wednesday afternoon. This is now looking at about 8 o'clock in the morning. I already have some thunderstorms really to the south of Shreveport, northwest of Alexandria, Louisiana, and then into extreme southern Arkansas. Now, these are a little isolated. I don't like the kidney bean shape. I will say tomorrow on Wednesday... The main severe weather threat is going to be straight line damaging winds with embedded supercells. So we're not going to, I don't think, see a ton of lone supercells like what we saw just last week. But nonetheless, these could spin. So this is now going to be at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern, 1 o'clock Central. And you see this line really extending from Little Rock into around Shreveport, west of Alexandria, Louisiana. All of those could be containing some damaging wind gusts, even the possibility for a few of those embedded tornadoes in the mix. So this is going to be at 3 o'clock Central now, working into Memphis. There is the Mississippi River. Keep in mind that we will see the opportunity here for these storms to roll right on through the evening. So this is going to be 8 o'clock now. Baton Rouge, we're going to be under the gun late Wednesday evening. Same deal for us into Jackson, Mississippi. And then just on our doorstep into Tupelo. Again, all in all, the severe weather threat is not as high as where it's been. Still something, though, to pay very close attention to. Because if we can get these cells isolated out ahead of the main line, again, they'll have a better shot to produce a few tornadoes. So just keep that in mind on Wednesday. What is going on in the Caribbean? We have certainly felt some very cold evenings and some cold mornings for our standards, no doubt. And it's going to be another chilly morning in the Northern Caribbean as well. We're talking temperatures in Jamaica getting back down into the mid-60s. Mid-60s for us into the Dominican Republic and Haiti. A little bit warmer, though, for us in Puerto Rico. Again, this is going to be 8 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. And we're talking mid-70s to start our day in Puerto Rico. As we fast forward into the afternoon, let me back this train up here. Very nice afternoon through central Cuba. We're talking low to mid 80s. That's the orange on your screen, right around 80 in places in southeast Jamaica, Kingston. We're pushing 80 degrees. Same thing for us in the Dominican, right around 80 degrees in San Juan, Puerto Rico, back towards the lesser Antilles. Really the same kind of deal. The Atlantic really helping to influence our temperatures and of course the warm side of the caribbean as well with temperatures hanging around 80 degrees from trinidad and tobago all the way up the west the windward and leeward islands hanging around 80 degrees now we are going to see a couple of more cooler mornings again through about the weekend i want to take you into next week though watch what happens here as we zoom this back out to tuesday that's more like it our air temperatures to start the morning this is fast forwarded all the way out to Tuesday, January 24th. And look at that. Georgetown, we're starting off around 80 degrees. Kingston, we're back to around 70. There we go. In the Dominican, low 70s to start, low to mid 70s in Puerto Rico. So it's going to take a couple of extra days to kind of burn off this chill. But as we get into next week, we're going to get back to those very warm mornings and then very nice afternoons. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love talking about the weather, if you love tracking it, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you. If you just want to stay informed, 
you are welcome in this weather community. Thank you guys a ton for all your weather reports. It really does help out a lot. Again, watching the snow in the plains and Midwest, be on the lookout, stay weather aware across parts of the deep south, especially East Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Eastern Oklahoma, and parts of Western Mississippi. Again, let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know what the weather is doing where you live, and we will catch you next time.